Let's talk about Cristiano Ronaldo leaving Manchester United. It's not the most surprising news in the world. I guess if some of you watched the interview with Piers Morgan, you would have probably got the feeling, like a lot of people did, that it felt like an exit interview, which I never usually have. I don't know who sits down and have exit, especially I've been at companies where they'll send you a, a form to fill out, to give your feedback on the company and what you think could change and blah, blah. It's like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't do all of that. You know why I left. Do you know what I mean? Especially if it's you left against your own, against your will. You know why I'm not there anymore. I don't need to have no flipping exit interview to explain to you any other details. That, that doesn't make any sense. But in general, Cristiano Ronaldo interview was <clears throat> crazy because it was probably the first time we've ever heard a player of his stature, especially at United, kind of coming out and criticising the Glades. Not really, but more so criticising the board and the people who basically run the club. Not the overall owners, but if you diss the people that run the club, you're by proxy insulting the owners and kind of calling into question their ability to run the club. And obviously his beef with Eric Ten Hag wasn't the greatest. And maybe his comments about some of the young players weren't the greatest. But in general, it did seem like an interview that someone would be doing knowing full well they're not going to come back to the club. And this World Cup being in Qatar was absolute, I keep knocking the mic, was Perfect for Ronaldo. Perfect timing. Just before Christmas, um, ahead of the January transfer window, if we were going to sell him then, it's obviously best now because he's, he's left that mutual consent and both parties have walked away from the deal. But even if he did stay and it was a sale, they would have just let him train with the youth team players or just told him to stay away from the club, train on your own, and then got the deal sorted out and you would have been fine. So it's kind of worked out for everybody in the right way, I think. So this is an article courtesy of the Man United um, official webpage and it said Ronaldo to leave. Cristiano Ronaldo is to leave Man United by a mutual agreement with immediate effect. The club thanks him for his immense contributions across two spells in Old Trafford scoring 145 goals in 345 appearances. It wishes him well and his family well for the future. Everyone at Man United remains focused on continuing the team's progress under Eric Ten Hag and working together to deliver success on the pitch which is an interesting comment to make when you're doing the statement about Ronaldo. But essentially... This is um, something that I feel like benefits all parties. For Ronaldo, I feel like in the interview with Piers Morgan, he did mention that he felt like maybe he went with his emotion and not with his rational mind when it comes to when it comes to choosing between Man City, United and other clubs. He probably should have looked a bit closer at the finer details, asked people behind the scenes what was going on at United and then he would have probably came to a decision that it probably wasn't the close club, best club for him to come to. I was legitimately surprised when he did sign for us. I was the person that was worried if he went to Man City that his impression that my impression of him being a legend and somebody I looked up to in terms of a sportsman would become forever tainted if he was to don that sky blue jersey but if you're being rational and you take your emotion out of it and you step away from it Man, Man City would have been a far better um far better match for Ronaldo at this stage of his career than Man United he still may not have played every single game that he thinks he should be playing at United but I think in general for his career and the way that he plays and his lack of running and the fact that he can't do the things he used to be able to do Man City would have been a far better club for him he would have been cover for Haaland if they did sign him at the same time he would have maybe been their main striker playing up front he would have been able to score loads of tap-ins and he would have easily easily I feel like surpassed his 18 goals he got for us last season if he played for Man City and maybe even another league like Italy I feel hear those rumours about him supposedly going to Napoli that obviously got shut down but regardless Man United was probably the emotional move and didn't probably suit him overall us as a club I think in terms of restoring some sort of good vibes at the club and maybe taking the heat off the Glazers, signing Ronaldo made some good sense. But I think everybody that was kind of looking at it and being objective would have probably saw that it was it would have caused more issues than bad because Ronaldo demands so much. He's such an elite sportsman. It was unlikely he was going to come into United and just be happy to sit on a bench and collect checks. He's not that kind of guy. That's the whole reason why he's still playing at the level he's playing at. He could easily be playing in Saudi Arabia, as he mentioned before in the in interview. He had an offer, I think, from a Saudi Arabian club or a Qatar club, I'm not too sure. It's a club in the Middle East that offered him, you know, a crazy amount of millions. If I'm not mistaken, it was like 300, 300 was it 345 million or something stupid like that, that he was offered by one of those leagues, but he doesn't want to do that. And I'm assuming he'd be able to make you know a bucket load of cash if he went to the MLS also but he doesn't want to do that either so he clearly still wants to compete at the highest level if possible and try and win domestic trophies the league or even compete in the Champions League so if you bring if you sign that kind of player for United he's not going to come in and be able and be happy to pick up checks and sit on the bench he's going to demand more from his fellow teammates the club the boardroom and the owners and these ownership that we have at the moment the Glazers clearly don't like to be questioned 
or they don't like to have demands placed at them. They like to move at whatever pace they're moving at. They like to do business a certain way, they like to run a club a certain way. And the way that they like to run the club essentially isn't necessarily um, grounded in trying to become the best club in the world. They just care about becoming maybe commercially viable and becoming more of a success in terms of business. But in terms of us being the best club on the pitch, in terms of winning trophies and challenging for big honours, they don't really care about that. And Ronaldo does. So that was always going to be a mismatch for me. But I feel like overall... It's been a necessary evil, if you want to describe it that way. I feel like he kicked everybody into gear. He raised the standards of the club. He demanded more out of everybody. And in the end, it ended in a bit of a shit show. But in general, he still got what he wanted because he wanted to leave. He didn't want to stay at a club where clearly the manager didn't rate him or didn't think he'd be a starter for the club. He clearly didn't want to be at a club also of like United that's kind of languishing outside of the top four and will most likely not finish in the top four by the end of the season. And he obviously went to compete for the highest honours and have that prestige you know still attached to his name before he ends up retiring in a couple of years like he said you know maybe in his 40s so I'm not really too bothered about it in that regard but in terms of him being our number one striker to play and also not having any backup at the moment Martial being a little bit of an injury prone Rashford not being the best person to play up front and I also don't believe the club are gonna you know um, sign off on us signing a player in January because I think the Glazers were quite adamant that we wouldn't be signing anybody um, in January so the fact that that would happen I'm not really too sure so I'm a bit worried about that when it comes to the club and in general personally for me I would have found out a way to kind of make it work I know it's a bit crazy to say that but I think as cover and I think as leadership in the overall team and to uphold the standards until the end of the year I would have done that but if you've got Eric Ten Hag in place now and you are believing in him and you think he's going to be the one to return to our past glories you have to empower him to feel like he's in charge and you can't have a player regardless of what their stature is basically calling into question his authority even if what Ronaldo says has warrant because I do believe a lot of what Ronaldo said it's hard to be um, the judge and jury at this because it's a little bit he said she said you don't really know who's telling the truth but don't really see the need for him to lie we've seen how self-centered he is and how unable he is to basically reflect on his own declining powers but I also don't think he lies. He may be oblivious to the fact that he's not the player he once was, but is he going to categorically lie and make up something? I don't think so. So I think the emotions that he felt about Ten Hag bringing him on late for games, putting him on bench, they were valid, of course. I'm not going to dismiss them. And I also think that behind the scenes, some things were said, some some assurances were made, and he didn't feel like they were followed through when it comes to the game. So I can understand why he felt disrespected, why he felt slighted, and he had to make a stand for it. And unlike Van der Beek, which is the complete opposite, to think about the contrast in terms of players and how they go about it if you're Christian Ronaldo of his stature when you're a player of that ilk you won't accept being on a bench you won't take it kindly you're going to kick up a fuss or be a bit moody but if you're a player like Van der Beek I feel like the club can sometimes take advantage of your humbleness and your kind of manners and basically treat you like crap and not really have, le have let you have the ability to prove yourself in the team with some consecutive games. So it's a bit of a toss-up in terms of how you